Okay, now for lick 15. Okay, to start off this lick, we're going to have 14 on the D, 16 on the G, 14 on the D, 12 on the G, 14 on the D, 14 on the G, 14 on the D, 12 on the G, then 14 on the D. So it's going to be like a kind of pedal tone thing where we're swapping notes uh, on the G string, but we're keeping the note on the D string the same. So we've got... Then the next part, we're going to have 11 hammer on to 12 on the G, 14 on the D, 11 on the G, 12 to 14 on the D, then 11 on the G. So we've got... So when you put both those uh, sections together, you should have this at a slow tempo. Then repeat the first part again. as far as the 12th fret on the G, then you're going to have this lick. Which is just 14 on the D, 12, hammer on to 16 on the G. Skip over the B string, play 12, hammer on to 15, pull off to 12 on the high E. Come back over the B string, play 16, pull off to 12 on the G. And then when you get to 14, that's literally where you repeat the lick again. So you're going to have Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the first part again. Then we're going to have uh, another two arpeggios to follow that. This is the first one. Which is 14 on the A, 12 to 16 on the D. Skip over the G string and play 12, 15 to 12 again on the B string. Come back over the D and play 16, pull off to 12 on the D. Then the second arpeggio will look like this. And that's just 15 on the A, uh, 14 on the D, 17 on the D. Skip over the G string and play 13 to 17, back to 13 on the B. Come back over the G string and play 17, pull off to 14 on the D. Okay, so at a slow tempo, that lick should sound like this. And then you just repeat that again. Okay, now we're going to take a look at lick number 16. Okay, um, basically what we're doing here is we're playing the first position uh, D minor pentatonic um, in our left hand and uh, we're going to be tapping um, sort of the third position of that pentatonic scale as well. Um, just so, I'm just telling you this just so if you know your pentatonics really well you can kind of visualise what I'm doing. Um, but I mean this is going to be the pattern that we're using. Starting on the 19th fret on the low E string, pulling off to the 12th fret hammering on to 15, so we've got... Then we're tapping 17 on the low E, pulling off to 12, and then hammering on to 15. So that's the pattern. Okay, before you're wondering, actually, I said uh, D minor pentatonic. It's actually E minor um, first position pentatonic, but because we're tuned down, um, obviously the key's different. So uh, just in case you're thinking, hang on a minute, that's not right. Uh, yeah, we, we're actually doing it from the 12th fret, but it's got the tonality of D minor. So uh, moving on with the lick, uh, we're going to have... 
Okay, so there's the pattern. Moving to the A stream, we're gonna have 19, pull off to 12 on the A, hammer on to 14. Then we're gonna tap 17 on the A, pull off to 12, hammer on to 14. Then the same on the D. So that's the first part. Then we're gonna uh, go to the A string this time, uh, do the same tapping and hammer-ons again. So 19, 12, 14, 17, 12, 14 on the A. Then we've got the same on the D. Okay, here's where the position uh, slightly changes. We've got 19 on the G, pull off to 12, hammer on to 14. Then we've got 16, pull off to 12, hammer on to 14 on the G. So. Then same, back to the D string again. G string. Then on the B string, we're gonna have 19, pull off to 12, hammer on to 15. Then we've got 17 on the B, pull off to 12, hammer on to 15. So. Then starting on the G string, B string, then we've got the high E string. So 19, pull off to 12, hammer on to 15 on the high E, then 17, pull off to 12, hammer on to 15 on the high E. Then to finish off, we're gonna re-tap 17 on the high E, pull off to 12, hammer on to 15. Then when we tap 17 again, we're then gonna bend up 15. So, and then repeat. Okay, so that whole lick slow should sound like this. Okay, now for lick number 17. Okay, starting on the fifth fret on the G, we're gonna hammer on to eight on the G, and then tap 11 on the G. Skip over the B string and do the same notes again on the high E string, so five, eight, tap 11. And then we're literally just gonna pull off and come back down exactly the same position, but just uh, in reverse. So 11, pull off to eight, pull off to five on the high E. Skip over the B string and play 11, pull off to eight, pull off to five on the G. So. Then moving the position up, we're gonna start from eight on the G this time, hammer on to 11, tap 14. Then we're gonna skip over the B string and play the same notes on the high E string, so that's eight, 11, 14. So. Then 14, uh, we're pulling off to 11, pulling off to eight on the high E. Skip over the B string and do the same thing on the G, 14, 11, eight, uh, sorry, 14, 11, eight, yeah, that's right, so. Okay, then all we're gonna do now is use that same shape pretty much, but we're just gonna um, do all ascending rather than coming back down again. So we've got 11 to 14 on the G, tap 17 on the G. Skip over the B, have the same notes on the high E, so we've got 11 to 14, 17 on the high E. Then uh, moving up, we've got 14 to 17 on the G, tap 20 on the G, same on the high E. Then we've got uh, 17, hammer on to 20 on the G, uh, then tap 23 on the G, same on the high E. But when we get up to 23 on the high E string, we're then just gonna pull off to 20 and that's where we'll finish. So at a slow tempo, we should have this. Now we're gonna take a look at lick number 18. Here it is. Okay, so we've got 19, pull off to 15, hammer on 17, hammer on 19, pull off to 17, pull off to 15. So that's the pattern. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the B, then the same thing on the high E again. 
then the same thing on the B. So it's literally just taking that pattern and just moving it between the two strings. Then you're going to pull off from 19 to 15 on the high E, hammer on 17 on the, on the B, 16 on the G. Then you're going to have uh, 17 on the B, 14 on the high E, then you're going to pull off from 17 to 14 on the high E, hammer on 15 on the B, then 14 on the G. So, then going back up, you're going to have 15 on the B again, then 12 on the high E, 15, pull off to 12 on the high E again, or well, I say again, it's basically the same shape as the second arpeggio we've looked at, but just uh, down again from 15 to 12 on the high E. So, so far we've got this. Okay, so that's 15 to 12 on the high E, 13 on the B, then 12 on the, uh, the G. Then uh, back up to 13 on the B. Then we've got 11 on the high E, 14 pull off to 11 on the high E, uh, 12 on the B, and then th uh, 11 on the G. So. Okay, so the whole lick slow should sound like this. Okay, now for lick 19. Okay, to start off this lick, we're starting on the 12th fret on the high E string, and we're going to have 12, 17, 15, 12 on the high E, 15 to 12 on the B, so, then 17, 15, 12 on the B, uh, 14 to 12 on the G, so, then we've got 17, 15, 12 on the B, uh, 14, 12 on the G. Then we've got 16, 14, 12 on the G, 14, 12 on the D. Then we've got 16, 14, 12 on the G, 14, 12 on the D. Then we've got 17, 14, 12 on the D. Uh, and then 14, 12 on the A. So. Okay, so then we've got 12, 15, 14, 12 on the B, 15 on the G, 14, 12 on the B, 15, 14 on the G, 12 on the B, 15, 14, 12 on the G, then 15, 14, 12 on the G again. Then we've got 14, 12 on the G, 14, 12 on the D, then 12 on the G, 14, pull off to 12 on the D and then uh, 14 on the 8. So then we've got this. Then to finish up, we've got 12 on the A, uh, 12 on the D, 14, 13, 12 on the A. Then 10 to 12 on the A, back to 10 on the A, and then 12 on the low E. So that whole lick slow should sound like this. Okay, now for lick number 20, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna hammer on from seven to nine on the D string, then uh, seven to nine on the G. Then we've got nine to 12 on the D, same on the G. So. Then 12, 14 on the D, 12, 14 on the G, so. 
Then we've got 14 to 17 on the D, 14 to 16 on the G. So. Then um, 17 to 19 on the D, 16 to 19 on the G. Then the last one is 19 to 21 on the D, and then the same on the G to finish. Okay, so uh, the, the rhythm for this um, is gonna be. So it's, um, for the first three, we're gonna hold on the last note. Then for the next three, we're gonna just play them. Okay, at slow tempo, once more. Okay, now for lick 21. Okay, what we're doing here is we're hammering on from 17 to 19 on the D string and then playing 21 on the G string. And we're gonna um, play that five times, so. Then we're going to move up and play uh, 20, 22 on the B string, then 24 on the high, and then do that twice. Then we're going to have, which is 19 on the B, 22, 20, 19, then 21, 19, 21 to finish on the G. So we've got... Okay, well that's all the licks that we're gonna be looking at in this DVD, but um, the performance that I did on the DVD, I'm actually gonna go back to lick three after lick 21, which was the last lick that we looked at. So um, let me just play through that again for you, just as a recap. Okay, so that's lick three and that's repeated twice. Then what we're doing is we're going back to lick one and then lick two, which is basically how we start the performance on the DVD. So here's another reminder of that. Okay, so I've finished lick number two there. It's all the same as what we did before, um, but after the last lick, I'm just ending up on five on the B string. And then you just let it play out to the end of the backing track. Okay, well that concludes all the licks for the solo performance.